All right, so today's gonna be the day I'm gonna harvest these hog half combs off of here. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it's just not getting any better. You can see they uh, they've got these pieces mostly filled up. Um, and looking in here in the center of the rest of them, I can see they have the whole thing capped. They just never did fill them all the way out to the edge very well. Um, but I've been waiting for you know several months now. We're already well past our main honey flow. So at this point, I'm afraid if I leave it on here any longer, they're going to start eating the honey back out of it. And I'm going to be gambling on you know them draining it, gambling on beetles getting in it, and everything else that I don't want to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and try to run the bees out of it here, get it pulled off, and um, get it stuck in the freezer somewhere where I can fit it. And then we'll see about, once it's out of the freezer, actually taking it apart and seeing just how many we have. And I'll just have to... Uh, I'll have to weigh each one individually and just price them based on weight and how full they actually are. So, you know, it's, it's a shame that they're not all going to be perfect, but hey, it was a learning experience and uh, yeah, it's been fun. And I'll, I'll definitely try it again next year for sure. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and cut this off and uh, we'll pick it up with uh, the taking it apart process. All right, so here's our half combs. Uh, I got them in the house now. They've been frozen in the freezer for three days, I think, at least 48 hours uh, for a solid, uh, long enough that I've definitely killed anything living that was on them. Uh, but what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and get them all out today, cleaned up, packaged, and then I can store them back in the freezer for a little bit longer just to really be safe because I really don't want these things to be somehow contaminated by beetles or moths. Uh, anyway, got them set up here, and uh, I'm going to try to stand the box up and see if I can't get it taken apart and show you how this all slides apart and cleans up. Okay, so the first part's going to be to get it set up here, and what we've got is on these two sides, we've got the bow springs that hold it in place, and then on these two sides, we've got wooden spacer blocks so that the so that the half comb sections stay centered up in the box and everything stays tight. So let's go ahead and get the box stood up here. My newspaper to bring and stick to it. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Proof, I guess. I put the newspaper down to make sure it wouldn't stick to the counter. Didn't do that, at least. Okay. So maybe now you can see it a little better. Yeah. So here's our springs up top, spacers down below. So I'm going to set it up and then reach here with my hive tool and just slide these springs out. They're nothing real fancy, but it's kind of hard to, to get a grip while we push them out. They're pretty tight in there. And of course the bees have properized everything that they love to do. There's one. There's one. And just as quick as you get one side knocked loose, you pull them out pretty easy. They're hard to push out at first, but once you get one side knocked loose, they push out pretty easy. So now the whole thing should just slide out. I don't think it's going to because it's propolized again. Take your hive tool and see all these internal components come apart. So take out that spacer board. Make sure you guys can still see. Yep, okay. Take out that spacer. Take out this end spacer. Let's see, by taking all these parts out, that makes it a lot easier for everything to come out. There you go. The whole rack scooted. So then what you do is just take the whole thing just like this and set it out. <clears throat> now when I put this in, the kit comes, whoo, when you put it in it has this orange tape on it and it holds everything together real nice so it's easy to work with but then while it's in the hive the bees like to chew that tape up so <laughs> that's why it slipped and wanted to fall apart. But now we're out on the counter. <clears throat> I'm setting the super down here on the floor out of the way. And you can see what we're left with now. With these nice handy square stacks of half cones. And so now what I'll do is it's going to be processed over and over and over. But I'll go through with my hive tool here and uh, just pop them apart. Get in on the corners of them. And actually what I need to do is go through. See so they've got the, the orange banding is also on the sides. So I'll go through and take off all the orange tape 
and uh, let's see if I can get a piece or two off of it here for you. It's not easy. Come on, come on. Man. Alright, there's at least one piece off that side. Take a piece off this side, just so I know these are apart. There we go. That stuff rips apart. I don't like how that kind of comes apart like that. Kind of stringy. But anyway, with those off, now, there you go. When you pull the tape off, it comes right apart. And see, this isn't exactly um, my favorite. These things, I'll have to show you once I get it all done, but the bees didn't really fill them full, full like I'd like. So there's little hollow spots on the sides. Um, but like I said, I had to go ahead and harvest it off just because um, I think the bees were actually wanting to start trying to eat some of this honey. So I'm going to go ahead and get them all taken apart, cleaned up here. I'm not going to make you guys watch that, and then I'll show you in the end what it all looks like. Okay, so I finished breaking them all out, got the tape off, which was a complete pain. That tape, for whatever reason, like peels and shreds, it was really hard to actually pull it off. Um, but I've got 21 of these that are mostly drawn pretty well as good as it's going to get um, for me. I mean, I know they should be better. But that's as good as that's the best quality that I've got here. So 21 of those, I'm gonna price them at $10 a piece. I think that's plenty fair given the sort of novelty concept that it is. Um, these are kind of the lesser category. They've got a little bit of open space, but mostly still closed. I'm gonna price those at nine. And then these are ones that they just didn't ever fill up right. They're still uncapped order. And I'm just gonna open feed these back to the bees. I'm not gonna sell them. The honey is probably fine, it's probably right, but I'm not gonna risk it. Um, so I'll just open feed it back to the bees, but let me get the lids and labels thrown on and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so there you go. Got the lid slapped on and uh, put the little labels on like you're supposed to, or at least something something about it so it doesn't look right in that one label overlaps the other one, but I think this is basically how I found a video a while back on how you're supposed to do it, but your gray labels for your cover hinge, um, and then of course they, you can buy these cute little bands you don't have to but it gives it a real nice presentation you know to stand that up on the shelf and and show it off so i got to figure out what i'm what i'm doing with the cover hinge label because that looks silly but um gives it a real nice presentation and those got little directions right here on the corner it says you know cut along the dash line there to open it and then you're able to open it again with a hinge so i show you on one of these that of course i don't have the the hinge on it but basically when you open it it'll hinge up like that um, and then you just close it right back so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these closed up labeled up and uh, you know take a few to work tomorrow to show off to people and see I like it it's it's not perfect but I like it it's cute and it's different 